What's up YouTube? I'm Derek with Lost Alien Media and today I'm going to be reviewing Talk To Me directed by Danny and Michael Filippo, a pair of young Australian filmmakers, I believe brothers, who are best known for their YouTube channel Raka Raka with 6 million plus subscribers that features content, uh, parodies, skits, short films, I believe. Yeah, they have a view, they have a huge following on YouTube, um, and uh, Talk to Me is their de directorial debut. And for me, I mean, they smashed it with their debut. Uh, this is an instant horror classic for me, and I think I believe one of my favorite, if not my favorite, movie of the year. Um, when it comes to horror, it's my favorite genre, and I don't know if this is a subgenre, but uh, I've always liked the concept of a group of young people, whether it be high school students or college students, um, with the concept of them messing around with a game, uh, a curse, an urban legend, you know, whether it be a Ouija board or uh, a cursed chain letter or a cursed tape like The Ring or uh, Urban Legend Dare, uh, like. Um, Bloody Mary saying Bloody Mary three times in front of the mirror. And by doing so, it unleashes, you know, spirits and certain consequences. And this take on that sort of concept, um, you know, it's a, it's a very familiar concept, a, tr a horror trope. Uh, but Talk To Me uh, tackles that concept in a very refreshing uh, way. Uh by drawing a lot of parallels with, you know, the porcelain hand, which is sort of like a medium to the, to the ghost world. And um, it draws a lot of parallels to drug addiction and how certain people, you know, deal with grief by, with drug addiction. And if there's too much of it, it can have some very adverse effects in the long run. And, uh, to incorporate that sort of parallel with you know possession and um horror and grief is just i thought was brilliant and it was executed in a very creepy disturbing intense intense way um the body horror is very disturbing um and yeah i mean it's not a movie that really that heavily relies on jump scares um i don't i don't recall it there being any really jump scares at all um it's very you know it's very reliant on building a creepy atmosphere uh imagery um sound design things of that nature and i mean it pulled it off stunningly i i was enraptured from start to finish the first two acts start off really strong really intense the third act sort of peters out a little bit but it finishes extremely strong the acting was phenomenal uh sophie richie i believe is her name is the lead actress uh she was absolutely phenomenal um the acting all around was phenomenal but her performance as the lead uh i just see big things coming her way um uh, and i mean People don't talk about this enough in horror movies, but I believe that possession, acting out possession is extremely difficult. You know, you know the best actors are renowned for their dramatic scenes and uh, that involves anger, sadness. Um, those may be two emotions the most, but when it comes to possession, um, I think that's sort of underrated and tapping that kind of performance and I mean all the kids in here I mean pulled that off beautifully especially uh like I said Sophie Sophie Richie and um that's a hard thing to act out I believe um and yeah the acting was phenomenal the the directing was uh phenomenal I mean I see big things coming for the Filippo brothers uh I hope for them to make a sequel i know they're talking about a street fighter movie but uh <clears throat> yeah if you're a horror fan um that's more if you're a fan of you know the ring 
it follows the Ouija Ouija. Um, you know, uh, I know what you did last summer. Scream that sort of thing. In, you know that sort of mixed with a little bit of elevator horror like hereditary or uh, the babadook um that sort of you know that sort of blend of horror um because this is you know a bit elevated horror uh but it's mainstream enough for the general audience to appreciate and to be entertained by so i, I think if you like all those movies combined into one you'll enjoy this movie and I guess the one downside I'd say is uh, not knowing enough about the hand and the spiritual world. Um, they touched on it a little bit, you know, with who the previous owner of the hand was. But I would have liked them to delve deep, deeper into who the spirits were, why they were holding a certain someone hostage. Uh, they didn't really dive into that too much, which kind of left some questions. But I mean, I was entertained overall. I was thoroughly you know entertained there's a lot of creepy moments and yeah i mean i'd highly recommend especially if you're a horror fan uh, and even if you're not you'll enjoy this anyways you know yeah yeah go enjoy this if you're a couple with your boyfriend or your girlfriend yeah highly recommend derek out